Hey guys, um, I'm sorry if I look weird today. Actually, no, I'm not sorry that I look weird. Deal with it. Okay. I'm missing parts of my makeup and I didn't do my eye makeup today, so I'm like half ready. But that's okay. It's all good in the hood. So um, today I am in my room to do something kind of important. If you don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram and you only subscribe to me on here or you just came across this video and you don't subscribe to me at all, I am getting a service dog, okay? And before everyone goes all crazy on me saying, why the heck do you need a service dog? I actually do have medical problems and they are very real and I believe a service dog will help me extremely. And this dog is also going to provide me with with like emotional support. It's not gonna be an emotional support dog, it's gonna be a service dog, but with my anxiety, I feel like this dog is really gonna help me and benefit me and just get me like, and like give me motivation to like do things with my life. I feel like she's just gonna help me in so many ways. Um, her name is Kita. She is coming home hopefully pretty soon. Tomorrow is the house visit. She is a rescue and she is a Doberman. And um, she's actually a really small Doberman, but she really, like she looks exactly like a Doberman, just smaller. I mean like she's to here, but like most Dobermans are like Whoa. like giant. So she's not that big. My application for her adoption was approved. And now the lady that facilitates the adoptions is gonna come over to my house tomorrow and do like a house tour and make sure my house is fit for owning a dog. She's in for a surprise when she sees my room and I'm like, this is where the dog's gonna stay. And I'm like, hopefully she doesn't lose her mind when she sees six tanks and like eight cages. But that is something I'm going to need to do because she's coming tomorrow and my room looks scary right now. Like, it doesn't look good. I still need to clear out a spot for where the dog bed and the food and water bowl and all that's gonna be. I'm actually putting it, um, I'm actually putting it under this desk over here where all this crap is right now. That's where it's gonna go. That's where all of her stuff is gonna go. So I need to clear that out and get it dog ready. I just need to get this room dog ready. So we did look at some that were fully trained already, but she is not fully trained. And so I'm gonna have to do the training. My family chose to go through Service Dogs Express and that's the program I'm going through to uh, train her. So now that I'm getting this dog, it has kind of come to my, um, come to my attention that I can be a bit of a hoarder. I know, shocking. I have like so many clothes I don't need and just so much random crap laying around in my room for no reason and I need to get rid of it because I need to have space for my dog. Not like a chihuahua sized dog either. A Doberman Pinscher sized dog. I gotta, I gotta make some room here. Gotta make some room. There was like this storage thing right here that I already got rid of. Now this is just whatever's left. A receipt to Sephora. I don't want to remember how much money I spent there, no, no. A really heavy bag of sand. Yes, I do need this, but it doesn't need to be under my desk. A bag of zip ties. Nope. I have no comment. Care Fresh for my mouth. Yes, I do need this, but again, doesn't need to be under my desk. A Fluval LED strip light. If anyone needs one, let me know because I don't need this. A GameStop receipt for $300. It's depressing. Mouse treats. Random decoration for a fish tank. It's still wet. It's like, this thing is still wet. I don't really know how. Dry rock that's somehow still wet. I might use this. This is kind of a cool piece. It looks like a cave. Torn up receipt. Literal trash. A supplement to get rid of Aptasia. Open and empty. Good use of a product there. It's all spilt in here, so that's a good use of that product. I'm glad I spent my money on that. Don't know what this is. A really dirty animal bowl? Trash. A rock. Trash. 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 I could use these. These are test, test tubes. I'm gonna keep those. Video games. Obviously, I need to keep these. It's very important in order to live a happy life. This is like a backing strip for a lid to a tank. I don't trash. A PVC pipe. It's really dirty. Trash. A pooper scooper. So it'd probably come in handy if it wasn't all the way in the back behind my desk. So I'm gonna keep that. I was gonna say that I was gonna keep this because it's like a wooden hideaway thing, 
for one of my animals, but I don't know what's inside of it. Look at that. Looks like like honey or something. I don't know if it's safe to keep. It kind of feels gooey. A lid to a tank I don't even have anymore. Plastic, it was a quarantine tank. Trash. A giant marine land filter. With the lid to a fluval filter inside of it. I think I'm throwing this out. Trash. It was like the inside of a fluval filter. Trash. I guess I could maybe use this. I don't even know how I got it. It's a Tetra filter. I don't ever remember buying a Tetra filter. And it looks very used. I don't even know if this is mine. Not, not that people really come around my house leaving aquarium products around, but hey, weirder things have happened. Someone left a fish on my porch the other day, so. True story. A random light with no cords or anything. A tank that I had running for like two months and then I took it down because I didn't want to deal with having a uh, three gallon saltwater tank. It was stressing me the heck out, man. If anyone needs a tank, hit me up. Comes with the lid. I'll clean it up so it won't be that nasty. If no one claims this in like a month, I'm tossing it in the trash. Pokemon Ruby. I don't even have a Game Boy anymore, but I'm still gonna keep this. It's a necessity. And then over here I have salt, which I need. And I can't really lift that up. But. We got this much trash at least to start. Okay, so the next thing that's come to my awareness that I may, maybe possibly have a hoarding problem with are my clothes. I do have quite a bit of clothes and I only wear about 5% of them. Every other piece of clothing I just wear to sleep and literally I wear like 5% of my clothes actually out in public. I guess um, next thing I gotta do to make my room more open Let's get rid of some of my clothes. Start from the side. I ordered this online in a small and it came this big. So I've never worn this one, one day in my life and I've had it for about a year now, so uh, goodbye. This still has the little hanging tags on it because I've never worn it. I think I might keep it just because it's comfy and it's cold outside. So I'm gonna put it to the side. I'm gonna say yes for now. I bought this because it was on sale. I wore it once. Next, three years ago. I wore this to my grandma's funeral. Never wore it again, but since I wore it to my grandma's funeral, I think I wanna keep it, cause that's like special. Not that I necessarily wanna remember a funeral, but it's like remembering my grandma. Called her, I called her Nana. I haven't worn this in three years. Goodbye. I don't think I ever wore this. Goodbye. This color looks weird on me. Goodbye. Honestly, what is this? Honestly, what is this? Goodbye. I've never seen this in my life. I don't think it's mine. I'm gonna keep it and make sure it's not a family member. I've never seen this in my life and I don't think it's mine. I'm gonna keep it in case it's a family member. Again. This faded so bad that I can't even wear it. Goodbye. I bought this because I had to for work before we had unit forms. Goodbye. I don't even know what this is. Goodbye. More stuff I had to buy for work. Goodbye. Miley Cyrus. Pretend I threw that out. I ordered this online and it fits my body really weird. And I can't zip it up because of my chest. Goodbye. This is a dress and I ordered it like two months ago and I haven't had a single reason to wear a dress since I bought it. So I'm not gonna throw it out yet because it might come in handy one day maybe. I really don't think this is mine. This color blinds people and I don't even get how this is a shirt. Goodbye. Why would I have this? Who would wear such a lame thing? Goodbye. A really expensive dress. You might not see, you know, what, what could be bad about it? Oh wait, there was no side. So could you still all hang out? I'm gonna keep it. I bought this like three years ago. It's Kylie Jenner, it's Kendall and Kylie though. It's an exclusive Kendall and Kylie. Never seen again. Crop top, goodbye. I've never worn this a single day because I ordered it online and it does not fit around my chest. So yeah, goodbye. I need someone to explain something to me, okay? You see right now, I'm wearing a black tank top, right? How many? black tank tops do I need? How are these different? I guess this one's kind of navy. I can't even tell you how this goes on, so I'm gonna throw it out. I found another black tank top. Okay, don't make fun of me here, okay? You're gonna make fun of me, okay.
I also have this shirt which has a lot of holes in it because for some reason when I had a bunch of anxiety I chewed holes in my shirt but it has the best show ever on it so I'm not throwing it out. So I've gone through my closet, which is barely a fraction of my clothing, but um, I went from a completely full closet to not as full of a closet. I'd say that's pretty, that's pretty good. Don't really know how getting rid of my clothes is gonna help me prepare for my dog, but I just feel like, you know, decluttering everything is just gonna help me prepare for my dog. So I hope y'all guys enjoyed watching me begin to get my room ready for my dog. I still have a lot of work to do, just I have a lot of cleaning to do. I have to stop filming, one, because I don't want this video to be too long, and two, because it's 4.27 a.m. Super excited. I'm sorry that I've completely failed at this Vlogmas thing. I just can't do it, I can't. I mean, I'm still gonna do try to do like vloggy things throughout this uh, month, but I'm not gonna be doing them every single day, obviously. I just have too much going on and I will literally overwork myself and die. I think my medical problems are like the reason, the main reason I can't do it because I am so exhausted. So it just, it takes so much for me to feel good enough to make one of these videos and to edit it into everything. Like it takes so much time that if I was doing it every single day, I would collapse and die. I also know that um, last Sunday I was supposed to do a subscriber Sunday video where I open all the fan mail. I actually did the video, but like the lighting is really bad and my makeup is really bad like I look beyond ugh, gross I'm still gonna upload it I'm just dreading it because of how like low quality it looks in my opinion but I'm still gonna upload it and I did get all of your mail and I absolutely loved all the mail I got so thank you to everyone who sends me stuff in my P.O. box thank you guys for watching bye